hi guys welcome welcome to my channel from wherever you are watching from my name is joan aka jojo wairimo and as usual i'm super delighted that you clicked onto this video so today i happen to uh, have my daughter make for us breakfast i'm so excited she's in her recovering process and so far so good i'm so grateful to god for you know giving her the grace and the energy to do the little things that she loves to do so today she's the one who is making breakfast for us yay i'm so happy and there she is so anyway guys today's video is about um a grocery shopping because this house hey we seriously need food stuff so yeah we've been uh consuming uh quite some uh shopping here and there i mean food sorry so i want to like go do some grocery shopping and then um you know just to top up uh on what i have because i know it's going to finish soon so i need to really top up so that's the title of the video today so if you're new here welcome welcome and consider subscribing to my channel if you like things to do with home organization beauty and lifestyle this is the place to be two hours later So now guys i had to like uh compare the prices because yeah getting into a big huge market you have to like compare prices because every individual has their own pricing so yeah i settled for here and at least i got a place where i could get what i was looking for <music> So now uh, the tomatoes were going for 3 for 20 uh, everywhere that I was just uh, bumping myself into currently yeah and before that they were going for 5 for 20 guys so there's a big difference and yeah we have to cope up with this uh, economy right now. So the beauty of just buying in a huge market is that they add for you an extra tomato or an onion you know yeah that's the advantage and you get value for your money by the way and you can somehow somehow try to bargain you know but at this time it's not easy but yeah the chances are quite high Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. uh, 
vegetables and I find this very healthy so I was just trying to check whether they have everything in the things that I want in that set of vegetables so yeah I mean it's just nice to have different different types of veggies Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah. At this point, I was so done with the shopping of the vegetables that I was looking for. Now, I'm heading to the supermarket, which is Green Shelf Supermarket. Yeah, so let's get in together. Let's all take a ride. So now if you see me walking around with this book it's actually a list of things that I had written down earlier on because I'm this kind of a person who doesn't like you know just shopping without a list I have to actually have a list with me so that I don't do impulse buying or you know forget what I'm buying and yeah that's me I I don't know whether you like me guys but yeah that is truly me and then if i get um something that is sold at a good fair price or cheaper you know or there's a promo on that kind of product i would definitely buy it even if it was not in my list because chances are maybe next time i may not get it you know at that cheaper price so those are the things that i consider when i go to the supermarket so i don't know about you guys what do you normally do do you write down a list or how do you shop do you just get into the supermarket and start shopping or you know do you carry a list with you i mean just comment down there in the comment section and let me know how you plan for your shopping I also want to add on something about uh, setting your mind and your finances on the changes that we are currently having where it concerns, uh, you know, the economy because for real, for real, you'll find that prices are still escalating and they are escalating at a real high speed, guys. So, yeah, prepare your mind and your finances so that when you go there, you don't get shocked because... You have to learn to adjust yourself so this is the place that i took time to really you know um just see because where aki tissues me i'm wondering yeah where are we headed i mean tissue paper is so expensive and it was one of the most cheapest things that you could just buy but now you know i had to look at different brands you know just compare the prices from you know uh the quality and everything so i really took my time here because i'm very very particular when it comes to uh tp and yeah guys i mean just prepare your mind guys Love the way you are, we are. 
At this point, I was still shocked about the pricing, guys. As in, I was like terrified, you know, wondering tissue paper of all things, how can it just be so pricey? So I just really took my time here, and yeah, Peke was the cheapest of them all, but I just don't like that brand because of the quality. But yeah, eventually, I got what I was looking for. At According to my pocket, guys. I found a picture we took many years ago. So I'm back home and I'm going to quickly show you what I got. Yeah, I got uh, these muggies at 125 shillings while the Royco cubes were going for 150. So guys, I won't tell you everything about the pricing. I'm just going to mention the things that I found quite pricey and others fairer. So yeah, these spaghettis were going for 69 bob and they used to be 50 bob. So you can see yeah it's like a huge difference but the one that i found yani it's way way too pricey is this ajab uh, ngano that was going for 200 shillings i mean that's a very pricey rate and then plus the tissue here i got it at 170 and i found that way too pricey because they used to go for a hundred bob yeah, so basically you can see there are things that are way too pricey and others are a bit pricey. But yeah, what to do? We have to keep moving because that is the way things are. And then we have this tomato ketchup which was going for 160. I think that was fair enough. So basically I was just adding onto what I have and yeah this is it and this 
whole uh, supermarket shopping went for around 4000 shillings guys i mean hey there are not so many items but still that is too pricey and then now i have these vegetables that i found them fair enough the only thing that i found a bit pricey was these tomatoes because they used to go for five for twenty and now they are going for three for twenty but at least that's manageable and then we have our pineapples going for 50 bob i found that very very fair and then we have our eggplant which was going for four for twenty the the onions were going for five for twenty so basically i can say the vegetables were quite fair enough you know I mean, yeah, these mixed vegetables were going for 50 shillings, the mangoes were going for 15 shillings, so you can see, yeah, that is fair enough. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video until now, and if you have, kindly, kindly give me a thumbs up, and if you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to my channel, I love having visitors, so let me catch you in the next video. And if I lost my mind, would you come around? I will keep you safe and sound.